Now at five, water gushing from the spillway at Lake Mendocino, one of several reservoir releases we've seen after a parade of storms dump record rain on parts of California. But the big question tonight, are those releases really necessary? Thanks for staying with us here at 530. I'm Adrian Moore. And I'm Curtis Ming. So why can't California capture more of this water and end the drought? CBS 13's Manson Kibi is live along the Sacramento River getting answers on storage solutions. Yeah, water, water, and more water. Californians have either sought it or talked about it over the last three weeks. And with that comes those very questions. The one I heard the most today what happens to all this rain? What precautions are they taking? Are we storing it? Are, like, are we prepared for like more rain? It looked like gates that swing. How do those work? And how many are there? What are they there for? The sun's out, and rain feels like a distant memory. Okay, maybe not distant, but those questions echo what was talked about among the state's top water leaders today. How do we handle the water that we get? Water storage. Can the state capture all this water that fell? The short answer, maybe, someday. There are seven water projects in the works. The timeline of these are anything but quick. Millions of dollars approved back in 2014. Let's use the Harvest Water Project as an example. From start to finish, a nearly 10-year process. Since the project started, climate change has entered the conversation. Our climate drier and hotter than it's ever been. You know, right now, we got to figure out how to get it back into the ground, which is the snowpack used to be the biggest reservoir, but the ground's going to be the biggest reservoir. So that's a change in how we're going to have to look at our infrastructure now. It comes down to money. Things cost more now. I know that it's a dry state, so we should be storing all this water. So it makes sense that there's so many questions. Uh, if I've learned today in that hours long meeting, there's multiple agencies involved in these water projects, and that comes with a lot of money. And because there's so much time involved, inflation and things just change, and it ends up costing more than it originally started at. So those questions we hope to answer, you know, make perfect sense.